Hello, my name is Terry Kylo. I'm one of the priests at St. Paul's Episcopal Church in Mount Vernon, Washington. Uh, this here is the fireside room, a room where we gather together and have conversation about issues that really matter to us. Issues about what it means to be human, how to understand human life, and uh, how to understand uh, what it means to be a community together. One of the issues that we talk about on a fairly regular basis is the issue of why do bad things happen? Um, why do bad things happen to uh, individuals and to communities? How do we understand uh, this part of human life? Ultimately, we understand that bad things happen to everybody, that no one's really immune uh, from bad things happening. And yet there are many different perspectives about, about uh, why these things happen and what they mean. When I was a very young child, uh, five years old, my mother was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. And you can imagine that this uh, brought up a lot of different feelings in me. Um, I felt sort of guilty that maybe I had done something wrong. Um, I noticed that my brother and my sister and my dad were all, you know, really concerned and, and, and feeling badly and, and were worried. And they weren't quite sure what to do or what to think about that. That really caused me uh, to, to want to be a pastor, to be a theologian, to sit around and, and talk in community about... about um, why do these bad things happen and how do we understand it? One of the reasons we're making this video is uh, so that we can invite you to have some conversation with us about how you understand it when something bad happens to you. Now, out in the world and our culture, there's a lot of different viewpoints. Some people see God to be kind of like a lucky rabbit's foot. That if you uh, pray and you go to church and you're a good boy or girl, then good things happen. And if you don't do those things, as determined by some church or something, then bad things happen. Um, there are other people out there who, um, who really have liked the book The Secret, which says that if you send out really good thoughts into the universe, then that positive energy you sent out will come back to you and you'll, have, you'll benefit. I know on TV we hear about uh, TV preachers who say that if you send your last hundred dollars to them, God sort of turns into, oh, I don't know, like a slot machine, and will then send back thousands of dollars to you. And they have plenty of people uh, on their little videotapes who show them uh, that that's exactly what's happened. But there are other views out there. And uh, some of the views here at St. Paul's Episcopal we think might be also interesting to you. For instance, most of us here really don't think that because we go to church and we're part of a faith community, that that means that bad things won't happen. In fact, what it sort of means to us generally, and there are differences in our faith community certainly, but what it means to us generally is that when something bad does happen, that we have understand that God and Jesus expresses that God is with us when something bad takes place. One of the problems with the idea that we can use religion or use some kind of thought pattern or, or send money into some TV preacher to control the world is that when something bad does happen, we not only lose our health or we not only experience the grief that comes along with the bad thing happening, but we also lose sort of the sense that we're worthy people, that we are um, loved by God. So we not only feel bad, we feel that we somehow are bad. And that is something that I sometimes experienced um, as people talk to me about my mother. Some folk would walk up to me and say, well, your mother and father must have done something wrong um, for this to have happened to them. They seem to think that because they didn't have MS, that they had done things right, and so they had been good boys and good girls. But I didn't find myself enjoying being around those people very much because they just made me feel bad and it made it seem like my whole family was bad. But there were other people who didn't seem to want to use God to sort of control life. Um, other people who kind of recognized a different way of seeing things. That while we can't control the world around us, that God does respond to us in it. That God is present with us when something bad happens. And these people sort of made me feel like it was okay to be experiencing grief and some, and some confusion around my mom's illness. At St. Paul's Episcopal Church, we're a community of people who, who come at this from many different, different angles. We have different perspectives about it. But generally, we understand that God 
when something bad happens to us, doesn't run away and isn't casting stones at us and isn't saying that we're bad people because this bad thing has happened. Rather, we believe in a God who is revealed in Jesus, who touched lepers, who welcomed people who were outcast, who loved people who were blamed for having some kind of illness or having some kind of problem in their life. And he welcomed them back into community. That when something bad happens, God, God isn't looking at us in judgment, but rather God is sitting alongside with us and bringing healing and comfort to us in the midst of all the things that happen that aren't so great. But we also want to hear from you. And so we invite you to join us in our blog on the front page of the site. And we will attempt to respond to you in a loving and caring way as we'd like to hear your perspective about this important part of life. We also invite you to come and join us at the Skagit Valley College on the dates that you'll see here in just a few minutes and engage in some face-to-face -face conversation. And in those conversations, you'll see a little presentation from me. You'll see some people at St. Paul's talking and reflecting on some of the things that have happened in their life. We'll have some of the blog, uh, blogs that have been put up, some of the responses and comments um, also to reflect on. And then we'll have some small group conversation uh, around round tables so we can learn from each other and learn to reflect on life. Because really, in the end, that's what being part of a faith community is. We reflect on life with each other. We reflect on life with those who've lived before us. And we even uh, do some reflecting on, in life on the, on the basis of uh, engaging scripture and learning what scripture was trying to say. You'll also hear during this time that there were several different views in the scripture about why bad things happen. Not just one. Although if you listen to the media and if you listen to TV and radio, you'll certainly think there's only just one. But actually the scripture has a conversation inside of it about this matter. A conversation that we're taking part in right now. And we invite you to join us. Thanks for listening.